But we're now joined by a senior from the high school where this happened, uh, Jalen Martin. Uh, Jalen, I understand that you just came from a vigil honoring the victims from yesterday. How did that go? Uh, yes. Um, so it hasn't officially started exactly. Um, just everyone's been here for hours, just walking around, checking on their friends, you know, other people telling each other what's been happening, why, what were they doing, where were they, how did they feel, what did they plan on doing, who else have they talked to, stuff like that. Um, so, of course, I decided to go. Um, I also found out that my neighbor, um, my next-door neighbor, unfortunately, is in the hospital. She's very badly wounded. Um, and, and she's, uh, a, she's a student there? Yeah, she's a junior. Okay. And, yeah, um, so as I was walking around to people, um, you know, I've been hearing, I'm sure you have heard this too, um, that there were multiple shooters. So I've been talking to people who were on, or, yeah, on each floor, um, you know, in the building where the shooting was happening, as it was happening, their classes. And um, I just want to start off by, like, going through I think there were like three people that I talked to. Um, one of them, they were on the first floor. Um, they heard the the shooting or whatever, and they like thought it was a joke or something like that. But no, it wasn't. They figured that out like really quickly. And um, they saw a jiggle on the doorknob and saw him, and he was like, "Go to the next door." Right now, I've also mm -hmm. heard that he was schizophrenic. That he possibly was schizophrenic. Um, so. If there aren't two shooters, then that could be another thing that should be looked into. Um, but I also talked to someone else who was on the third floor, and they said they heard the gunshot on their floor, and then they heard them on the floor below. It sounded like way farther away. And that hallway, it's not like you could go down the hallway and it will sound different. It's going to sound just as loud because those hallways are short. And those hallways have great echoes. And... um then I talked to someone else. They were in the main part of the building um, in our culinary class, which isn't, it's not like necessarily the closest, but they said it sounded like it was like right beside their door. Um, like they said it was so crisp and clear, like, this wasn't yeah, and some of the videos, involved. some of the videos we have have actually indicated that. Um, so, so Jalen, I'm just curious. Have have anyone has anyone that you've spoken to actually said that they saw the shooter? Yes, yes, yes. I and the shooter and the, did the shooter it. have a the shooter had a gas mask on or or what type of coverage was on the shooter's face? I, I asked them. They didn't say anything about a gas mask. They just said they saw him for like a split second because um, you know they were jumping out of the way jumping into classroom. What about uh, what about smoke grenades? Was, was there any smoke in the hallways? I, I, I did hear someone say something about smoke. Um, they said they heard like an explosion sort of sound um, and that they like saw, they didn't see completely smoke, but they saw it looked like hazy out there. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. could have been perhaps from a load of gunfire, but maybe also from a smoke grenade. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, where, obviously, it sounds to me like the students are still kind of in shock about this, obviously, and, and maybe oh, yeah. just trying to still get their bearings about them by talking to other students. Yeah. Um, but, but what is kind of the overall feeling of the event? Does it feel to, to the student body like this is case closed? Nicholas Cruz was the guy. He did this by himself. Or are people still kind of worried and wondering if there wasn't something more to this? Um, for the most part, I've just heard people talking um, mostly about like, what are they going to do? That's, that's the most, um, the most talked about conversation that I've heard is what are we going to do after this? How are we going to move on? Um, but yes, I have heard, um, a few people talking about like, how did this happen? Like people are asking questions. That's the best thing about this is that people are asking questions. Like how did he get in? Who let him in? Did he come in then? Did he come in now? You know, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's another question I have for you. Um, you just said, how did he get in? Are the doors, are the perimeter doors to your high school normally locked, or is it a situation where anybody could have walked in and breached the school? Well, here's the thing about the school. It's, um, so each door, for the most part, of, like, the main part of the school is, it, well, since the four weeks ago, I don't know if I, um, if your audience heard this um, in Alex's show earlier, or in David Knight's show, but I was talking about how four weeks ago the Secret Service came and trained the teachers on new safety protocols, and ever since then we've been practicing new um, 
like designated locations that we need to go into and all the teachers are locking their doors. Um, but in this building, there are usually, there are usually like three or four doors locked. I think, it's, no, it's just like two or three doors that are locked um, on that building. So if you wanted to go into classrooms, that would be the building that would be best. It's also separated um, from the main part of the school. And he has three different levels that he can work on. So he started on the first level and then went to the second level and then went to the third level. And then I guess he just put gun up there and then went down um, with the crowd. Um, so so it would make sense being as how he was a student there. He basically targeted this building knowing he could get in there. Uh, Jalen, I'm not sure if you can stick around with this much longer. So for the last two minutes of this segment, I just want to ask you, um, Based on talking to the fellow students, hearing other eyewitnesses, trying to gather as much intel as you can, I understand that obviously the students are still shocked there. Maybe they're still trying to get their bearings and their heads about them. But what do you think happened? I mean, do you think there were multiple shooters or do you think Nicholas Cruz was the lone gunman? Yeah. I'm just getting, uh, I'm starting to get closer and closer to like finalizing my point that this is probably something that two people have done or were a part of. Um, I heard he was dropped off by an Uber. I, I also that is confirmed. That he, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I also heard that the Uber helped him, which I don't necessarily believe that or understand that. Well, the Uber um, driver did cooperate with the police investigation. Yeah. So um, that is that is good news to hear. Um, I I didn't hear too much about that, but um, I do think that. This needs more looking into. Um, I'm going to talk to more people tonight. Uh, the actual visual part um, is about to start in probably like a little less than an hour, uh, 30 minutes. And then once that happens, I think what's going to happen is everyone's just going to walk around again for like maybe an hour or two and see each other for one, you know, possibly, you know, just one last time for a really long time because we don't know when the school is going to be open. What do you think needs to be done to prevent this in the future? Would you like to see teachers armed? Would you like to see armed security? Or do you think just trying to get rid of guns is the answer? <laughs> well, Owen, getting rid of guns obviously doesn't work. You can ask Chicago. I, I just talked to a woman from Chicago, actually, and I was talking to her about how this is, that's a gun-free zone, and obviously that's not helping, so why would it help here? Um, I think that if... Here's what I think. I think that the president needs to talk to Governor Scott and they need to work together on figuring out a program and a system where teachers can get on. Because, I, I mean, I'm graduating this year, but I don't want to be in a college next year and have to worry about could this happen because no one... Yeah, having, having to... Well, you can't even carry a gun on campus these days because they, they don't let you. That's Jalen Martin. Thank you so much.